Good morning, everybody. On my life, I'm back. Apologies for no video yesterday. I was in the office most of the day and it was unbelievably windy, which always makes filming a little bit of a challenge. Now, I've just come through to get breakfast. We had Annie and Hida free reign last night. Annie's just met me on the yard as I came down and look where she is now. She likes to think she can come along this corridor now because she knows it's the feed room back here. But it's not a good idea, Annie. It's a wooden floor. So we usually have a bit of elastic, stretchy electric tape across there so that she can't come down. But she's just supervising for now. And that's little Nero in the background. Anyway, I have your breakfast here, Annie. It's got your little name tag in it. So I will bring it through. Everyone's got breakfast. There's Teddy Bear. Well, not everyone, because that's Hoyt's is still in the middle there, which I'll take down to him in a second. Annie tucking into hers. Floppy do. And then Nero, who's absolutely covered in shavings, so he's obviously had a good old sleep. Tucking into his breakfast. Good morning. Now, we're forecast some gale force winds this weekend. So as I said, it's going to make filming a little challenging, but I do have a plan for today. I have a plan most days, it doesn't always happen, but we can try. Because a couple of people said that they were missing out on news on all the horses, what I thought I'd do is go round to each and every horse today and give you a little update on how they are and what they're doing. If the rest of this video follows that pattern, you'll know that the day's gone to plan. Let's start with one of the older residents, little Hiddy Hobbs. What's he been up to? Well, he's been mixing his time out in the field with all the girls and up at the yard here. So he's been getting a little bit tired. So it's been nice to have him in just resting every now and again. He's had lots of pampers and, and grooms all throughout the winter. You may remember, or if you didn't see, he had his feet medicated a couple of months ago because he was getting a little bit more uncomfortable with his arthritis. And especially as he turned, you could see that it was really bothering him. So that's what he does up to at the moment. I'm just enjoying being up on the yard and getting lots of attention. And if he's not here, then he's up on the hill grazing all the fresh grass up there. Aren't you gorgeous? Mm -hmm. And of course, once you start scratching him, you can't really stop because he just demands that you keep going. Hey. Oh, yeah, nice. Oh, yeah, nice. Yeah. Come back and do more of this later. Yes. Yes. Good boy. Yes. Good boy. That's Hiddy Hops. Next we've got Anya, who's tucking into one of the salt licks at the moment. Anya is spending most of her time, as usual, up on the yard. She's been free reign the last couple of days. Again, just being able to come into the stable at night if she wants to. I'm very conscious that I need to get her fitter because we've got a few carriage drives to do in a couple of months. And as you know, I've not been able to work them as much as I would like to over the winter. But it's not a problem because hopefully the better weather's coming now. I can spend a bit more time outside, hopefully. And Annie and I can get, get our fitness back together, just as I am with Renska, who I'll move on to later. So Annie does her usual, pulling a few faces, uh, but she's quite happy just being one of the yard dogs, really. Greeting most people if Teddy's not meeting meeting them, because that's his, his primary role at the moment. But again, she loves her ear scratches, particularly just up here, right behind the ears. Thank you, Danny. Mm. So I'm starting with all the easy ones, all the ones up at the yard, and then we'll move down to the field later. Annie's decided 
to supervise Nero on the walker. Did you want to go on there as well, sweetheart? Or are you just keeping an eye on him? And now he does swap places with Annie, and now he does supervising Nero. It's time for him to come off now. And Nero is having a good morning yawn. By rights today, he should be going in a small paddock, but because the ground is so wet still, he's gonna stay up here for a bit longer. I have Hoitsy Poitsy, again one of our older boys, 22 this year, with his little buddy jubbers in their very, very squelchy turnout, which is why it needs to be drained. So Hoitz is doing really well. He was suffering too with his arthritis recently, so he's just had his pedal bones medicated just to make him a little bit more comfy, not helped by this wet, damp weather, but he's enjoying his time in stable stays and he'll be joining me and Hull next Wednesday night on a live in stable stays. So I'll be taking you out with Renska on our live Wednesday night hack and then you can join me, Hull, Hoitzer and this little guy, little Mr JB, for a night in stable stays. So Renska's just come in from the field, Fray's brought her up. She's 19 now, she's one in a million and for those who didn't see or didn't hear about it she gave us a bit of a shock the other weekend because she was laying down in the field completely flat out all the other horses had left her and we thought something awful had happened so it was a real wake-up call and she gets tired outside these days she's always been one who's been happier to live out 24 7 but you know when the weather's been consistently bad she gets tired and she needs to come in for a sleep so she's come in today she's having a little snooze in the box now i'm going to do a little bit of groundwork with her and then she's going to have a night in but the plan is this year that she'll be the one who i take out on the live hacks because she just adores it she loves it because i'm concentrating on filming and chatting to everybody and she can just really do her own thing I trust her with my life. I know that she'd never do anything silly. You can join me with her on as many live hacks as we can possibly do throughout the spring and summer. The next one is on Wednesday. So She's got the kindest of eyes. Haven't you, Ren Pen? That's why you're called Auntie Ren, because you look after everybody. Now you'll have to bear with me on this one because even our wind cancelling microphone is struggling with the wind today, but I'm hoping it's died down for a second. And I've got Micah here. Micah is feeling very, very put out because I've not spent anywhere near enough time with her over the winter. And so she feels a little bit neglected and she often gives me that look like she's absolutely disgusted with me. Now, Micah's a very tight, tense little horse and I've made the decision that this year I don't want to get on her until I've done more groundwork with her this time to try and help her with her own relaxation. So that's what we're doing now. We're in the arena. I'm going to do a bit of a session with her. I'm not going to film it because, again, because of the wind. But she's already dropped down and relaxed because she knows what, what we're about to do. She's looking like she's switching off, but she's, she's a very good one that she looks like she's switching off and relaxing but actually she's not fully engaging with me. But again, that's for an, another video that we'll put together. But in herself, she's, she's really, really well. She's looking good. She's come out of winter really well. She's a little on the tubby side, but we can work on that, can't we, Mai? She's a very, very special little horse that always makes me smile when I'm working with her because she just wants to please all the time. Just a little snippet of Annie for now. I was gonna do you a nice long pre-recorded hack, but the wind is so strong today. 
that the sound quality wouldn't have been good on it. So I'm in a little sheltered spot now. So I thought I'd just bring you a little bit and just let you know that she's on her fitness campaign and we've just been around the village and we're gonna have a little trot back up Green Bank Lane. Always good to have a nice little post hack treat. Sometimes she likes bananas and other times she decides she doesn't. But today she's enjoying her banana. This next little bit of video, just sit back, relax and enjoy. It was done on time lapse and it's just Hoitzer having his pre-stable stays bath. because he wants to now go and munch haylage in the stable while he waits for his guests to arrive. So Hoitzer will just stand in the stable here to dry out, munch on some haylage and then he'll have another pamper later before he heads into the stable. Another little thing I wanted to let you know about and it's a perfect day to tell you because it's been so windy that these barriers keep falling over. And you may have heard me talk in another video about the fact that we were looking to put replacement ones here. Now, the horses don't tend to push on them, but obviously it's a risk if they blow over and the horses decide to wander off. Not that they'd go far. So, I've been thinking a lot about what we could do here and we were going to look at putting like a post and rail fence along here. But what... Tamara suggested last night, and it's a brilliant idea, don't know why I didn't think of it, is why don't we build a stone wall? We've actually got a little bit of wall down by where the muck trailer was that doesn't really serve a purpose. Oh look, there's Bailey. Hello. Hello Bailey. What you been baking? <gasps> oh wow, let me have a look. No. Oh, no, they look really. better than your last ones. Yeah, I figured out why they weren't tall. Not figured out why they're hard. Okay, well, that, um, well they look better than the last ones. Yeah. But mother you should know look about everything. I know they're not. Practice makes perfect. Yeah. Well done. I'm doing them again. Okay. I'm going to make cookies. Okay, you go make cookies. Yeah. They're going to be chocolate chip. Excellent. Anyway, going back to the wall, we've got this little bit of wall here. So we're going to ask Neil to move the bit of wall from down by the muck trailer and then build a small part over here, leave enough room for big arctic wagons to get up here and then put another bit of wall from here across to the stones over there. Neil will be coming along on Monday afternoon to have a look at the area and quote for it but I'm hopeful because it's a similar distance to the, the stone wall that he did up the top here that it's going to be a very similar price and certainly a very good investment into this area to make a more sturdy barrier so that the wind's not going to blow it over and the horses aren't going to escape through there. We got little jubbers here who you saw in the earlier clip having his breakfast with Hoitzi. He's been naked most of the day and out with Nero who's been terrorising him and 
you've double barreled him a couple of times, haven't you? Because he was pulling on you. He likes pulling on your hair. But Jubbers is doing okay. We're desperate for him to start growing, growing his summer coat because he does look quite tatty at the moment. Well, it's, you know... You're a beautiful young man. You are a beautiful young man, but you do look... I'm also a beautiful young man. Are you? Yeah. I didn't know that you'd had a sex change. <laughs> he's fine. He's just... He, he's, he's got tubby, despite the fact that he's had a muzzle on most of the winter. But he's going to go and tonight spend the night out with the big boys in the field because his, his buddy's off in stable stays. Yes, because it was absolutely disgusting. But he's had some nice tummy scratches. He was thoroughly enjoying tummy scratches a minute ago. You're not going to pull faces now anymore, are you? There we go. The little nose is going now. Because I'm just scratching his tummy. Oh, his little face. You're a cool little dude, aren't you? Here we've got little Hannes, Angel Eyes, who always falls asleep when Hull's doing his mane. But I'm going to let Hull give you a, a brief update on how he's doing at the moment. So Hannes has had a pretty quiet last couple of weeks just because I work with him, Xiao Kier and Yolanda. And recently my time's just like your time, like Jodie's time, it's been taken up with other things. But next week I'm hoping to get his training more consistent again, get him doing some groundwork. Because he hasn't been doing quite as much over winter, I do feel that he's kind of stiffened up a little bit through those shoulders again. So let's get those loosened off and just get him out hacking, which he loves. But as for himself, he's, he's been enjoying just living out with the boys. He comes in if he's a bit tired, uh, but today I brought him up just to clean out his eye because he needs his equivisor on it because the wind is kind of scalding it a little bit. And that is the thing with him and his eye. It's always just monitoring it day by day and just making sure that we treat it adequately and protect it as it needs protecting. But no, I'm very happy with how he is, especially considering this time last year it was... Oh, exactly. Yeah, we, down, yeah, you know? we didn't know whether he was going to make yeah, it. And, you know, in terms of the sarcoid, the odds every time. he does. But, you know, we, we know that this little bit we have to keep an mm. eye on. But this whole area around here where he had that hideous oh, yeah. sarcoid last year is, is looking really well. We're pleased with how he's going. Aren't we little angel eyes? Now he's wanting to know where Hole's gone because she'll probably bring him out a little treat. Although she makes him be polite for it because he can be a little bit rude with food sometimes. Oh, it's not a treat, sweetheart. It's a oh, plating band. <laughs> I'll go and get you one. Oh, okay, I see. That's Bless him. Now, there are some plus points to the wind, apart from the fact that it makes my editing on my video quite difficult, is it does help the ground to dry out a lot quicker. Now, we are forecast more rain next week, but with these strong gale force winds, I'm hoping that the ground will dry and I'll be able to get into the haymage fields to get them harrowed within the next couple of weeks. But I'm going to be a bit bad and not complete all my updates on all the horses because they've all disappeared off up the top and I need to go up because there's various things I need to do up at the yard. So I'm going to bring you an update on all of the others in another video. You've not had any video of the sheepies for a while and they just made their way through that gateway, which is one of the gateways we're going to get fixed this year. But here's little Pfizer. So Frey and I have just put them back in here. There's Damson on the right, Seneca, Astra and Connie, old girl Connie.
Hello beasties, are you a little bit warm today? Hmm? I don't have any food. That's up to your mum, Tamara, to give you food. Not that you need any, because you're all rather tubby now. Well, apart from Connie. Hey, you're never tubby, are you? But you're an old girl, you're allowed to be a little bit slim. So just up in the field above the arena. We've got a lovely afternoon now. So it's only polite for me to show you some of the view. That's little angel eyes down there. Paul's just washed his eye up and put his, put his visor on because of the wind. And that's Hempsfell over there. You can just see down to where the girls and Hidda are down in the 14 acre. we're going to be able to share with you this year because it's days when it's like this it makes the winters worthwhile there's no mountain I could not claim as long as you are mine and I think for being